All right, that's a clip from Diners, Drive-ins, and, drive and Dives with greasy spoon icon Guy Fieri. Mm -hmm. The show just aired its landmark 300th episode and still very much going strong. Guy joins me now. He's the Emmy Award winning chef, restaurateur, and author who just released his sixth cookbook, which is amazing. Guy Fieri, family food, kitchen tested and home approved. And I'm holding one now, even though you can see it there. Look. Can I you just it. do all the promo bits for me? Yeah, dude. You hit it all. If you make I mean, stuff can... in here oh. and, and feed my gullets, are you, I'm feed making my gullets. Yeah, I'm making the lentil doll chowder tonight. You know what's so funny is I saw the notes. Mm -hmm. I saw that. I didn't know whose book that was. I mm -hmm. saw when I was getting ready to come in and that someone had earmarked it. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well, thank you. Well and, done. Uh, and this is great. This is going to be one of the few cookbooks that I have in my kitchen. And I'm always amazed because I watch your show yes. when I'm on the treadmill. And I watch you go into people's <laughs> kitchens. And you have so much concentrated information. And you are going to specialists, people who are making various dishes that they have learned how to perfect over decades. And you still knew them more than they do. You know, that's, I'm really glad that you see that. Because it's really probably the key to the show. It's the bridge. Not every chef can tell you, especially on TV, yeah. can tell you exactly what they're doing in every step and have that and have that flow. But because I'm standing on the side and I know what the flow is, when they give me what they give me, and then I fill the holes, yeah. and then they give me what they give me. And it's funny because not many people recognize that's really one of the keys to the show, and it is. It, the, re the requirement is, and I think that's the reason I got the shot, is knowing all these different cultures of food, styles of food, methods of creating great food. Yeah. But uh, I'm glad you see it because it's, no, because uh, you have but it's what you do. I mean, you, you're, you're the amalgamator. You bring people together, you know, fill the, all the details in on the story. It's yeah, but if, 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 I were, uh, if I were trying food, I'd be like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> but you actually like, describe why a meatball yeah. and why it's important to have texture and pork and various <laughs> ingredients. Uh, I love the cookbook, the family food. One of the most important things you taught me when my daughter, my old the starter was three years old was always involve your kids in the kitchen it's so important on a number of levels especially allowing them to be independent it, it's such a uh, life skill and it's one of these things that when you give kids um, the education about food, and the education can be a variety of things. It can be eating good food, making good food, being aware of good food. Then they get to make better choices as, as young adults and as adults. And then they start to take more pride in what they're going to eat as opposed to just consuming anything that they can find yeah. that's frozen that'll go in a microwave. And it's really one of the principles that we live with. It's how my parents raised me. Um, and it's funny, my dad wrote the foreword of the book, and there's a little bit of a debate in our families. Did I learn how to cook? because I wanted to pick the menu of the family. My dad claims that it wasn't just that, but it was because I wanted to get out of doing the dishes. Whoever cooked didn't have to do the that dishes. That is so smart, because how much more fun is it to cook and create? Oh, I hate doing the dishes. I still hate doing the dishes. Yeah. But it's the recipes, you know, when I started this book, actually the book wasn't even the inspiration. The family was, and I was talking to my publisher, and she said, what have you been cooking these days? What are you doing? I said, well, Hunter's getting ready to go off to college, wow. and I'm trying to get him fortified, making sure his, uh, his uh, recipe catalog is, is ready to go. And I said, I'm spending a lot of time at home doing stuff with the family. And I said, so I just rattled off a few dishes. And she said, great, let's do a book about that. Yeah, and, and I love that there are also a lot of, like, one-pot dishes in here. Yeah. But I also love that you <laughs> have, you are now a vinter. You have um, your own vineyard. On. Yes, and you have Hunt and Ride, named after, it's an amalgamation of your two sons, Hunt Hunter, and Ryder. Hunter uh, is a sophomore in college. Ryder is an 11-year-old in fifth grade. It's organic. I'm really into, you know, keeping this organic and keeping it real. We do a Pinot. We do a Maritime wow. blend called the Trophy. A nice Would you say that your Pinot rivals the Willamette Valley Pinots of Washington State and Oregon? Well, you know what? I got to say, there are some fantastic ones that come out of that area. Yeah. And it's really starting to get, to get the recognition. I'm from Sonoma County. I'm yeah. from Northern California. So, of course, the I'm going to say... Oh, you got it. Oh, come on now. Got to come up and visit. You'll love it. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> and in fact, um, you know, Guy, uh, in this political season, it's been the most difficult thing has not been trying to figure out who's going to become president with momentum shifting. It's what's the best drinking game for these presidential debates? If you put one together, mm -hmm. I think you have all of the energy and enthusiasm that you could really turn things in the direction. I mean, well, huh? speaking of driving you to drink, we have a clip right here. Oh, Watch boy. this. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. He owes the president an apology. He owes our country an apology. I'm not proud of it. Except for the part where I'm super proud of it. I <laughs> guy you love. <laughs> 
I love this show. Yeah, baby. You get it you real. Come back anytime. You get it real. Bring mom and some of the golf syrup. More <laughs> minutes. Get some of the juice. Cheers. There we go. You're awesome. It's an antioxidant.